Why do humans dare to appear before me? Perhaps to offer themselves as sacrifices. Very well. Your wish is granted.
I done? After the ritual, everything felt wrong. As though I were entangled in the threads of some enduring nightmare. Humans? What are humans doing here? No. I remember now. You confronted me when I was out of control. Brave humans, you have my gratitude. Had you not put an end to my madness, it would have meant the end of the Dragovian race. I decided to abandon my human form, yet it was humans who rescued me. It appears my decision was a grave mistake. You! How can this be? You saved me. No. You saved all of the Dragovians. What a strange hand fate has dealt us. How come he knows who you are, Gav? And what's all this about fate? Ah. It seems you remain unaware of your true origins. Or perhaps your memories have yet to be reawakened. Very well. You are the child of a human father and a Dragovian mother. The blood of both races runs through your veins. But of that I will speak no further. Consult your grandfather if you wish to know more. Chen Mui, I sense your presence. Reveal yourself. I should have known your penetrating gaze would see through my disguise, my lord. Forgive me. I apologize for hiding my identity from you for so long. I am your grandfather. I disguised myself as Munchi so that I could travel alongside you and see that you were all right. I understand you must be shocked. Anyone would be. And now I will fulfill my promise to unravel the mystery of your birth for you. It is quite a long tale, however. May I suggest we adjourn to my home, where we can speak at our leisure? Very well. I shall transport you back to the sanctuary. Visit me again once Chen Mui has satisfied your curiosity. There is still much for us to discuss as well. You have earned the right to undertake the Dragovian Trials. Ah, home again. Home again. The power of the Lord of the Dragovians is a wondrous thing. Well then, there is something I would like to give you. Follow me. This is a keepsake of your mother, Shia. It was given to her as a present by your father. Does the jewel set in the ring seem familiar at all? I thought it might. It's an Argon heart, obtained by your father 20 years ago, during his initiation as Prince of Argonia. Long ago, some twenty years previous, a curious Dragovian girl by the name of Xie decided to visit the world of the humans. There, she chanced to meet a young prince named Eltrio. 
It was love at first sight. But her father, Chen Mui, none other than yours truly, objected. He took Xia back home to the Dragovian sanctuary so that the couple could never meet again. He thought it was the right thing to do. He believed there would never be any way for a Dragovian and a human to build a happy life together. But he was wrong. His foolish decision caused no end of sadness and tragedy for his beloved daughter, Xia. Shortly after Chen Mui forced his daughter back to the sanctuary, a human body was found just outside. It was El Trio. He had fought desperately to find Shia again, but died just before reaching the gates of the sanctuary. The death of her true love wounded Shia to her very soul. She plunged into an inconsolable sorrow. Her life ebbed away from her day by day. One day, even while absorbed in her grief, Shia realized that she was pregnant with El Trio's child. Every single one of the Dragovians objected, but she stood firm and decided to keep the baby. Shia delivered a healthy baby boy, but in her weakened state, she never recovered from the strain of childbirth and passed away soon after. The Council of Elders convened a discussion to decide what should be done about the half-human, half-Dragovian child. It took several years, but finally, the Council of Elders announced their final decision. The child's memory would be sealed away, and he would be banished from the sanctuary forever. Needless to say, by this time, Chen Mui had changed his mind. He argued against the cruel and closed-minded decision at great length. But the Council of Elders refused to reverse it. Chen Mui cursed himself for his powerlessness. Shortly thereafter, the Lord of the Dragovians used his power to seal away the child's memories, and the boy was expelled from the sanctuary. The boy was Chen Mui's last remaining connection to his only daughter. He knew he could never truly abandon the child. So, Chen Mui begged the Lord of the Dragovians, for permission to follow his grandson into the human world. The Lord of the Dragovians told Chen Mui that he would only allow it if Chen Mui disguised his true appearance as a mouse and never spoke directly to the boy. Considering the hardship his grandson would be facing, as an exile and an orphan in a totally new and unknown world, Chen Mui made up his mind at once. He transformed himself into the likeness of a mouse and chased after the boy as quickly as he could. And now you know the whole story. My apologies for keeping it from you until now. Please forgive this doddering old man. As for the ring, I would like you to have it. I think Shia, your mother, would have wanted it that way. Perhaps you should have another look around the sanctuary. Or would you like to hear the story again? Hardly a surprise 
given the length of the tale, let us make our rounds of the sanctuary and tell everyone of your valiant service to the Dragovian elders. <laughs> 